pharmacology discussions and uh, since in addition in succession to the previous videos what i have been uploading on the beta lactam antibiotics in the previous videos i have discussed about the classification of the beta lactam antibiotics and the mechanism of action so in succession to that video now moving on to the next topic that is the uses and the adverse effects of the beta lactam antibiotics so students beginning with in this video, I'll be mainly focusing upon the mnemonic and the short trick as to how we can very easily remember about the beta lactam antibiotics, the uses. So the uses can be better remembered if we just remember the mnemonic that is oops. So whenever there is any kind of a bacterial infection that that leads to an, an oops like condition and this oops can be used to remember about the different uses of the beta lactam antibiotics so the oops the first o of the oops is referring to the orodental infections so students beginning with the orodental the first o refers to the orodental infections moving on to the other next o of the oops it refers to the other infections like whether it be the anaerobic infections the actinomycosis infections the streptococcal infections the staphylococcal infections and in the infections of syphilis so students do remember one of the very famous beta lactam antibiotic that is the penicillin g becomes the drug of choice in the treatment of syphilis moving on to the next use that is the in the treatment of diphtheria, the pneumococcal infections, the tetanus and in cases of gas gangrene, the beta lactam antibiotics they find their wide usage. Moving on to the prophylactic uses. So the first O that is the orodental infections, the second O that is the other infections we have discussed. Moving on to the next P of the oops. So the P is going to refer to the prophylactic uses. So students prophylactic uses are those uses whenever we are going to administer a particular drug in the prevention of a particular disease before it occurs. So prophylactic or the preventive uses comprises of in the conditions like the rheumatic fever, the gonorrhea, gonorrhea patients, the syphilis and in the treat and in the valvular heart diseases, these uh, beta lactam antibiotics, they find their wide uses. So students do remember the all the bacterial infections, particularly the STDs, that is the sexually transmitted diseases, that is the gonorrhea and syphilis which is caused by the bacterium that is treponema pallidum that comes under uh, the treatment the drug of choice for their treatment is basically the beta lactam antibiotics and moving on the one important fact i like to discuss over here the uh, penicillin a is resistant uh, the class of the drugs which comprises of the methicillin the cloxacillin the oxacillin and the nafcillin they are widely used in the treatment of the staphylococcal infections so whenever the staphylococcal infections are occurring the penicillin is penicillin is resistant uh, the class of the beta lactam antibiotics which comprises the methicillin the oxacillin the cloxacillin and the nafcillin the drug of choice for that treatment in the treat uh, they are the drug of choice in the treatment of the staphylococcal infections now moving on to the adverse effects so the adverse effects what the beta lactam antibiotics are going to elicit in the patients who are being administered them they occur in the form of the hypersensitivity reactions so students do remember these hypersensitivity reactions they can manifest in the form of the rashes or fever so patients who are being on the uh, on who are um, administered these antibiotics they may uh, show some patients may exhibit the signs of rashes and the fever so these are the local uh, local irritancy can be caused and which can occur in the form of urticaria and in some patients there can also occur bronchospasm so the bronchi or bronchi of the lungs they can also um, they can also uh, there can also occur a kind of a and narrowing of the bronchus and which can manifest in the form of bronchospasm. The other, uh, the hypersensitivity reaction, which is most most commonly seen, it is in the uh, in the form of dermatitis. So the dermatitis, what is mostly seen during such uh, antibiotic treatment, that is in the form of exfoliative dermatitis, where the skin is going to peel off. So this peeling off 
of the skin during the and this kind of an antibiotic administration it is referred to as the dermatitis uh, ex uh, the exfoliative dermatitis and moving on to the next uh, uh, adverse effects so the, the next adverse effects can be seen in the form of a pain at the injection site can occur moving on to the third the adverse effect that is the thrombophlebitis so the inflammation of the vein in which the drug is injected so the intravenous administration of such antibiotics can lead to thrombophlebitis as well and this can be one of the another adverse effects moving on to the fourth so uh, in whenever there is any, any kind of an antibiotic therapy in most of the cases what we find there can occur supra infections but this is not so in the case of beta lactam antibiotics since the supra infections in case of such drugs administration is rare because the beta lactam antibiotics they are having a narrow spectrum of action that is they have a narrow spectrum of action and lastly but not the least that is the zarish herxheimer reaction so the zarish herxheimer reaction it is a kind of a reaction which is produced uh, during an antibiotic therapy when the death of the microorganisms are occurring this can lead to an endotoxin like production so the endotoxin like uh, products are released into the bloodstream on the body and this can many this is actually the zarish herxheimer reaction which is one of the another adverse effects what is seen in the uh, whenever the treatment whenever there is an ad administration of the beta lactam antibiotics so students this was a short discussion about the uses and the adverse effects what are mostly seen during the administration of the beta lactam antibiotics students if you do like this video give this video a thumbs up and do don't forget to subscribe and like my channel thank you for watching